We have some bad news for Cody Rhodes and his story. Sports Illustrated reported this. Multiple sources close to Triple H have indicated that Cody Rhodes will not headline this year's event, nor will he finish his story at WrestleMania. But there is still a new chapter to write with this marquee matchup to be had against CM Punk. So the report says that CM Punk and Cody Rhodes are set to fight at WrestleMania, and it also states that it's going to be Seth Rollins defending his World Championship against Gunther. Gunther is actually now the favorite to win the Royal Rumble and dethrone Seth Rollins, according to Sports Illustrated. This is a very confusing report because some people think this is WWE just trying to throw us off, while others believe it's true. But how could something like this be true? I think this is only true if The Rock and Roman Reigns has been internally confirmed for WrestleMania, and I wouldn't doubt that because The Rock did become a board of director just yesterday. If that is the case, then all of this makes sense from the segments on Monday Night Raw to this report from Sports Illustrated. I honestly don't hate this new direction. CM Punk and Cody Rhodes clearly cooked on Raw and gave us a preview of what would come from that feud. I have no doubt in my mind that it's going to be one of the best feuds going into WrestleMania, probably the best. And then you have The Rock and Roman Reigns going head to head. That is going to be generational. And then you add in the fact that Gunther and Seth Rollins can put on a wrestling clinic. This is a good plan, but it does suck that Cody Rhodes won't be finishing his story. It also means that Roman Reigns is most likely going to break Hulk Hogan's record. And that would suck for wrestling fans because his title reign has been very hard to watch since he barely shows up to TV. And it would absolutely suck if CM Punk did not get his WrestleMania main event match. I was so ready for CM Punk to be in that spot and in that feud with Seth Rollins to become the world champion. So many good things were going to happen. The Rock really shook things up with WrestleMania. What do you guys think? Do you think that these reports are true or is the WWE working us and giving out false information? Cody Rhodes actually spoke about The Rock and his potential involvement with WrestleMania 40. This is what he said in an interview with Bleacher Report. Nothing but respect. I'm a Rock fan. I don't think he's the type that would come in and meddle with a story that's been being told over the past two years. I think he's probably up to something else, but you never know with WWE. I thought this was an interesting comment because he was literally with WWE when that happened with CM Punk and his world title run back in 2013 for WrestleMania 29. The American Nightmare could be in deep denial. I was just thinking of this meme the entire time I saw this post. In other news, Seth Rollins spoke about his knee injury recently in an interview with ESPN, and this is what he said about his recovery. Yeah, rehab's, rehab's gonna be a pain, man, you know, but um, dodged a bullet. The ACL is intact, so anybody who knows anything about ligaments in the knee, the ACL is a big one. Uh, that one is good. The MCL will heal with time. You know, we'll get in there, we'll do some stuff, we'll check out the PRP and do some rehab. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to be back at full strength around a month. Around a month is like kind of yeah. my timeline, and we'll see what what happens. We're gonna take it day to day. I'd like to be back in a month. Uh, I, I I don't want to walk into WrestleMania and that be my first match in two months, three months, whatever it is. Like I, that's not gonna be good for me. I want to be able to get back in there, um, kind of test the wheel out and make sure that we're in a good place. So we'll see how it goes. But I'm taking it day by day, and and just I I'm, I'm happy. Like I said, that we dodged a bullet and wasn't anything too serious that was going to put me on the shelf for six to nine months. That is great news concerning his injury. It's looking like Seth Rollins will be ready to compete at WrestleMania. The only question is, who is he going to face? Is it going to be CM Punk or Gunther? John Cena was recently on Logan Paul's podcast and had a lot of interesting things to say. The first important clip I want to share is him talking about his time in the ring coming to an end and possible retirement. You are going to have a next match, though? That's what I heard just now? Uh, so yes, I hope so. I, I am not officially done. I know that I'm close, bud. I'm, I'm close. I can, I can feel it. You can tell. Like, uh, especially seeing you out there doing incredible stuff. Um, and just our talent now, the product has become so crisp and so fast and so skilled. Uh, it, it is a different world and I love it. And I still feel fluent and I would like to say good, goodbye when I still feel fluent. So uh, it's it's coming and like to the point where, you know, at that moment in the sunset where you're like, when it starts to go down, uh, man, it's going down real fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm uh, not I'm not done, uh, but but I need to decide when I am. Do you ever see yourself taking a more executive role like a Triple H? No, I think what I would love to to give to the business is just my time. And I live very close to the performance center. 
uh, and I would like to to go in as a guest. That way, I'm not obligated, and they're not obligated in any way. It's stuff I do on my free time anyway. I love going in and just picking people's brains, mm. having conversations about like, so who are you? And they're being like, what? What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> oh, only everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk. John Cena's time is clearly running out. It's nice to know that we do have another few years with some more matches before he does retire. I think he's got to have one with Cody Rhodes, maybe a Logan Paul match, and definitely one more match with Randy Orton sounds like a lot of fun. John Cena also gave praise to Logan Paul and Dominic Mysterio. Here is what he said. The WWE has never been at a loss for talent. It, they go through these small patches in the timeline where they're like, what are they going to do next? Who's going to be the next Stone Cold? Who's going to be the next John Cena? And now it's like, who's going to be the next Roman Reigns? Sitting right there. Maybe. I personally think it's Dominic Mysterio. I, shout out Dominic. By the way, shout out Dom. I'll absolutely <laughs> shout out Dom. Absolutely shout out. He's doing fantastic. Everybody has been giving Dom his flowers lately, and it's awesome to see because he truly is becoming a superstar right in front of our very eyes. And finally, here's Johnson taking accountability for disrespecting The Rock during the buildup of his match for WrestleMania 28. You saw The Rock's return recently? I did. When he went out there and he said, you think I should sit at the head of the table? Do you think he had that line written on his wrist? No, because one thing I know about Dwayne, he never makes the same mistake twice. <laughs> Did he know you were going to do that? I didn't know I was going to do that. No way. No, I didn't know I was going to do that. It was one of those things where uh, it happened in last minute. And uh, looking back at it, it was fucking stupid because we have the biggest star in the world coming back when they don't need to, giving our product ratings, giving our product relevancy, getting people to talk about us. And what do I do? You smoked him. No. Amateur? Like, no, that's not it. The guy is going a million different directions. Probably flew in from God knows where, working a full day, and I, know, I now know what that feels like, and just wants to do the best he can. Mm. I don't blame him for that i blame myself for taking advantage of that and a professional professional would have been like hey before you go out there if you do go out there like that i'm going to use it that's a professional mm. i had a stupid rookie move about use it that's not that's not how we, we trust each other in there that's not how that works i don't see that perspective okay that's cool i get it and by the way i thought it was great as an enter so like fan for from an entertainment standpoint objective achieved gained interest box office was crazy yeah. set pay-per-view buy yeah. rates sometimes in the fight game it gets a little gray yeah but we're all on the fucking same team out there man mm. and you got to have trust what if he said in no. a boxing ring then i don't use it 